Now, um, before I go to my next question here, that 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 triggers a follow up for me. Uh, I, you know, if you talk to, <laughs> I don't even want, I don't know what, what to call them, AI utopianists or whatever, but people who are really convinced like this is going to change. You know, it's either going to be Skynet or it's going to be the you know the new golden age or whatever. Like the the standard kind of, you know. Um, sort of concealed nah answer from them is well the the technology's not there yet but it'll be there soon and stuff do you have any do you, can you speak to the idea that okay well it was hard for them to do it with the ai we have now and it's and it's operating at a very rudimentary level and it's you know all these other things but do you i mean is this always going to be the sort of workaround is this sort of lack of um you know, ability to see when it's it's being sort of given the okie doke by its uh, by its programmers. I I think we're in an arms race. Mm -hmm. This stuff is going to continually evolve. It's going to continually get better. Mm -hmm. When I first got on the internet, there were no search engines. You had, had to know where to go. Oh, right? yeah. I mean, you had to know IP addresses. Well, right? The good I mean, news is there was like hundred websites. <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. And you know, you could kind of do some things on the internet. You mm -hmm. could kind of tell it around to some different, you know, free nets and things like that. Yep. And then like, you know, Netscape browser came out and that changed a lot. And mm -hmm. that was kind of like, wow, that opened that up. That was a generational change. Yes. Then like the Alta Vista browser came out mm -hmm. and it was like, oh my goodness, I could type in the word weather and I could go to a weather site and I was yep. blown away. Yeah. Then Google came out. Right. Mm -hmm. And Google was a seismic change in the search capability. Right. Oh, yeah. And I could find so much more stuff so fat, much more faster. And I was more effective on what I could do. I kind of see this as the next kind of seismic jump. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of the output that ChatGPT is doing, it's not that ChatGPT knows this stuff. Right. It's just referencing what it found on the Internet and digesting it and bringing it back to me. It's the same as a Google search result. Instead yep. of me going to three different pages and extrapolating that information, ChatGPT went to three pages and extrapolated the information and gave me an output. Mm -hmm. um, at first glance, you're blown away by it. But when you start to look at it, you start to see some of the flaws. You start to see maybe where it pulled its reference material from. Mm -hmm. You start to see how it strung those things together. Um, and it is going to get better. It is yeah. going to evolve right where it will go i'm not sure um mm -hmm. you know but i see it as just the next generational evolution of mm -hmm. what we're doing and um you know i mean microsoft ceo has done an amazing job of kind of evangelizing the technology and you know he keeps coining the phrase copilot where right. it is assisting you in your search it's assisting you in digesting large documents it's assisting you in mathematics it's assisting you in security it's assisting you in in developing code mm -hmm. um you know one example i'd like to give is all the articles keep talking about how uh, chat gpt is helping people write malware but we're not talking about on the same hand it could also help somebody write powershell scripts to harden their server Right. Yeah, and disable right, right. SMB V1 and disable NetBIOS. And, you know, mm -hmm. the it, the tool is there in either person's hands. OK. And for the good or the bad in, in that use case of what they do for it. And in my opinion, it's going to be an amplifier. Right. Just like the Internet became an amplifier or, or let's say even the computer became yep. an amplifier. Then the Internet is the next step. Google has been the leader for the last 10 years. Yeah. And has amplified how everyone works. And you can clearly see you have two employees and one is very effective at finding their own answers, extrapolating information on Google um, to to, you know, do their job. And they usually go up faster than the person who doesn't Google. Right. And doesn't do, use their search tools and doesn't and you can't digest information quickly. Mm -hmm. And I see this as just, again, as, a, as an amplifier of people's natural abilities. Have you seen WorkBytes, the new security awareness training series from InfoSec? Our team produced this series with three E's in mind, making security awareness training entertaining, engaging, and educational. Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy. And hey, let us know what you think about it.